is there? Knock, knock, knocking on my door. Oh, is it one of my oh so many party guests arriving early, perhaps? Huh? <gasps> Strange. I do not see anyone who is there at all. I have moved to these farthest moist reaches of the Antarctic so that I could have parties as wild as I want and would not be disturbing people. <laughs> Yet, my guests do not seem to be arriving for the party of the year. Hmm, I am wondering who of everyone I know can that be in my big comfortable water bed? <gasps> Why, your little tuxedo is exquisite, my friend! <gasps> you are my very expensive caterer! Please, then, to go to the kitchen and work your little tales of preparing the party of the year! <clears throat> I have ordered this ice sculpture of the handsome horse, which would be me. Please decorate it with some pretty flowers and whatnot, make it nice, colorful, plus make it snappy, my extremely petite little caterer. And... Uh, what is my sleepy head caterer doing now? <laughs> it is so hard to find good help. Your behavior has outraged my sense of fair playing. I will now give you only one more chance, my little problem maker. Now get to work pulling the salt water taffy. For it is whimsical and yet so unexpectedly transcontinental to serve taffy at the party of the year. <laughs> if that boy thinks he's getting a dip, he is sadly mistaken. Something. Have you been a caterer for very long? Haha! Hmm? So you are new on the job. That would explain. Uh, what? You are not new on the job and you are not. Uh, <gasps> Wait a moment! A thought has now stricken her blood to my brain. You must be one of my specifically invited party guests! <laughs> are you the Canadian Prime Minister? Hey? Are you Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands? Wait, it cannot be so. You are my long lost cousin Serge, whom I have loved and missed dearly since childhood. Oh, I can now see it in your beady little eyes. Serge! Oh, we are reunited at long last. Serge, you must help. The caterer has failed to arrive. Together alone, we must prepare for the party of the year. You will help me by inflating the balloons, yes? Then you will blow like zo. Now you. What is it now, my very irksome and not long enough lost cousin? Perhaps it is what we call a blockage. Similar to what is the problem in that little head of yours, cousin Serge. <laughs> Remember how you used to dance the disco all the time when we were children, huh? Well, tonight you will do nothing but be my disc jockey, yes? Huh? Ah, listen to those crisp highs and boom titty boom lows, huh? You are no caterer! You are not cousin Serge! You are a party crasher! I punish you deeply for
from the party of the year! The guests will no doubting it be arriving soon. I will be on the lookout. <laughs> which is now breaking my back into miserable pieces! Uh-oh. Jack, ah! wait until I get my claws on you, you miserable... My guests! Welcome to the party of the... Huh? Are you, uh... Mr. Bear, we've had complaints of a loud party going on here. But this party has not even started, eh? Let's go, buddy. Come on. But this is an outrage, I'm telling you now! I will report you to the Prime Minister, the Princess of Outer Caledonia! near this fuel, do you? Well, you're wrong, son! The finder's keeper's laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Short stuff, uh, no, uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could, uh... Combustibles container, and I cannot allow its transfer to non military personnel without form 5674 and 127 stroke cash. In triplicate. You're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time. I outrank you. Who could that be? 
Yes? Oh, a salesman. You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. Hey! It's you again! What do you have to say for yourself now? Oh, right. You don't talk. <laughs> ah, lucky I remembered to borrow the platoon cookbook. Let's see. 800 onions, 50 pounds of salt, ah, half ton of flour. Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Okay, stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. I'll take that. And you get off that machine. Now, shorty! Take the can! Take it! Take everything! I'm going back to camp! Ending my leave! If I get any more rest and relaxation, it'll kill me! Sports fans, the fate of the upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world-famous super scout, Slapshot's Medley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. World famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> So fast, small fry. You're the property of the International World Hockey League, and I show now. So listen up.
My reputation's on the line. And before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges, if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now what is he? On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big time hockey move. That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Now I know why they call it a face-off. Boy, sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in sticks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in hockey scout. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Son, something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy, how's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. That'll get his mind in this game for certain. <laughs> season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no-talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls' high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, Penguin. Oh, too bad. For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs. 